We are a public university. We work for the people of California. We are based in Los Angeles. We have all the reason in the world to make sure that our research most impacts the people of California. We like to call ourselves the People's Research Center. Children's Services, to Juvenile Hall, to California Youth Authority, and particularly because they are minors. I would love it, that, love it if this became a model for how to do research in general, um, how to really work with community and center their voices and how the research is done and who it goes to. And so in that way, I think that's a goal um, that I hope that we can continue, continue to strive for and accomplish, but then also to be able to make data plain and digestible to the everyday person. It became common practice to highlight which supervisor districts or city council districts or school board districts were impacted by this work and then follow up with meetings where we hand deliver our research and findings and reports to the decision makers. Uh, and, and we've influenced some, some legislation along the way and I think that that's something incredibly powerful that I like to keep going and building with community. Um, but I also personally have just been so touched by working deeply with community and with the students that we're developing much closer relationships here with the students um, that I was never, never able to have before. I mean, we'd be friendly, but not like what's happening here at Million Dollar Hoods. And I really, I value that, I honor it, I appreciate it, and um, I don't want to lose that from my life. And so that's just this, the feeling of being in work together and struggle together. And as a black woman scholar, you know, I don't think I really looked at the gap and the lack of black female scholars and data prior to coming here and realizing how I was kind of alone in some ways, but now have been able to join a family of people who appreciate this work and support want to see a more equitable world, uh, both in our schools as well as broader society. And that decriminalization is, is, is something that we can all get behind once we recognize our shared humanity. I mean, that's something we have lived here at Million Dollar Hoods, and I think we get that from the organizers and community activists and amazing organizations like Cadre that we work with. It is a measure of its success for us to be um, honored by Cadre. Um, whether we're moving from slavery to Jim Crow to the new Jim Crow mass incarceration, there's always been this moment of transition and we must remain very vigilant at this moment of transition that everyone's talking about decarceration, everyone's talking about diversion and alternatives. To not be lulled into believing that that necessarily means that we're heading to a better place unless we work for it. That's for me the, the call to action is to think deeply and historically about the potential of this moment and to make sure that we're always keeping a more radical vision, um, freedom dream ahead of us and keeping our eye on the prize and moving towards that, not just what we can get right now. Last time that I checked, it was five chains on my neck. It was no sweat on my breath. Last time that I checked, I was selling souls in the set. Make a quarter meal, no sweat. Last time that I checked. I'm the streets voice out west, legendary self-made progress, last time that I checked.